great track record. So should you challenge the Florida CNA exam? One of the first questions I'm going to ask a caller if they're inquiring is how well do you study independently? Because we do two, three, and five day classes, but after that class is ended, we're still going to need you to do some independent study because otherwise we can be the best teachers, but if you don't study, your testing outcome is going to be negative. You're not going to pass your examination. So before considering a CNA exam prep course, consider how well you study. And if you can carve out time between your work and family schedule to actually hit the books, to um, you know review what we've taught you, and to access our Google resources page. And if that answer is no, it's probably not best for you to challenge the CNA exam. Second question I want to ask you is why do you want to become a CNA? Are you becoming a CNA to gain clinical hours for the um, nursing and the pre-med programs? Are you becoming a CNA because your goal right now is to work as a career CNA? All of those options are acceptable. If your goal is to work as a career CNA, why rush the training? Why, you know, why come into a two, three, four day class, you know, stress yourself out trying to cram all this knowledge when the community colleges and your um, American Red Cross offer the longer courses. So if you know that you have, uh, you know, some, if you're not able to learn things as fast as, you know, others, do not stress yourself. At the end of the day, you're still going to be a CNA. You just took a different route to do so. So I still, you know, encourage those who are not able to do the accelerated courses, like um, the CNA exam prep course at Florida Train Academy, to continue and still earn your CNA license, but just do it at a more moderate pace. The third thing I'm going to ask is, you know, what's your timeline? How soon do you want your CNA um, license? Most of our students are going to be licensed within four weeks. Meanwhile, if you attend a CNA school, um, the program itself may be four to eight weeks. And then after that, you have to wait for your CNA testing date. So those students, sometimes it can take three months for them to earn their CNA license. So you have to figure out what's best for you, if you can study, what your finances are, because um, whenever you're taking a CNA exam prep course, you're spending your own money. Um, the government is not going, there's not going to be any financial assistance for you to challenge the state examination. And um, the CNA exam prep courses are not for everybody. Not everyone should, you know, challenge the exam, but they are great for, you know, the audience of students that we serve. Again, our students tend to be pre-nursing, pre-med, or they're someone who um, maybe has um, home health aid or sitter experience who already has the basic knowledge, but just wants to add a certification on top of that. All right, well, I hope that helped you in your decision as to whether or not you're going to challenge the CNA exam and or take a fast track course like what Florida Training Academy um, offers. Um, we are nurse owned and operated. We're one of the few in um, Jacksonville that's actually owned by a registered nurse. Our website is www.fltraining.com and our phone number is 904-551-0918. We have schedules online and we hope to see you in one of our classes soon. All right, we post videos weekly. So please like and subscribe and also tell a friend. Bye everybody.